Hello, my name is Ian Forrest. The other, the other day a speech by Daniel Hannan MEP told the truth to Mr Gordon Brown about this country's dreadful state and Mr Brown's habit of blaming everyone else, particularly the banks, but claiming innocence for his and his government's responsibility. We are all disillusioned, bewildered, angry and seemingly powerless as we see our lives ruined and our trust betrayed. In these next few minutes I want to tell you about seemingly two different things, but they are connected. Firstly, the substantial method and reasons for our downfall, and secondly, the denial and violations of our human rights in the UK. I have an active claim against Sir Fred Goodwin and his bank, which was over £71 million last June, enough to make Sir Frederick bankrupt. But have you noticed something familiar, unjust and corrupt about our terrible straits? All the offenders and those responsible are either still in charge or pensioned off at enormous expense to all of us. The reason is simple. They are and have been protected by the so-called independent judiciary that does not exist. All the judiciaries under the control of Mr Jack Straw MP a government front bencher, and even then through a limited company. I have caught out countless judges, solicitors and barristers for criminality. The police cover these up through inaction and conspiracy, of course. So I have reached the House of Laws, the law laws to be precise, twice since my original claims in last year, and they break our supreme constitutional law, their own national law and protocol by guilty silence. The man responsible for reform of these unelected law laws and others is, well, Jack Straw again. The banks have been and still are part of those untouchables that we still see still controlling our lives. This has been and is achieved by criminality and corruption by the judiciary, government and their pliant supporters, including the press under threat, hence this video. If countless people have been able to take out action against the banks to stop their irresponsibility and corruption, then our country will be very different. American companies and banks have flooded here to operate in the UK because they have become part of the untouchables. Not like the US with, with their correct justice and effective administration of the law, with punishments. This has been no accident. It has been a dedicated program of deceptive and secret control from Blair, Brown, Law Zervin and Faulkner and now Jack Straw. For the second point, not only have my claims for financial loss, criminality, corruption etc. been unlawfully rejected through this guilty silence so far, but my legitimate applications for human rights are studiously ignored, as are yours. I have set a legal precedent. This has tremendous significance to us all. It makes action to get justice and fairness against the corrupt judicial system, this specific Labour government, an impossibility. And it affects so many disadvantaged categories of victims of injustice in this country. In my next video, I'll concentrate upon these categories and show a way to overcome their discrimination and disadvantage. This will involve a collective numerical power, I trust, to gain real democracy at all levels, not just political. Thus, I ask you to refer to my website, www.standrewstrust, that is one word, S-T-A-N-D-R-E-W-S-T-R-U-S-T-S dot org which will lead you to more awareness of the truth that is with us today and how we can join together to fight these problems. For more detail, go to my House of Laws whistleblower site. Thank you for listening.